We were asked by a client to make a music video in the Norwegian forest with a dancer and for this shoot I wanted to use the smallest setup I could possibly make and improvise the whole video. But still, we want to make it professional so the client would love it. <laughs> How did that go? Well, check it out in this new filmmaking video. We have been shooting quite a lot of music videos lately and this time it was actually Epidemic Sound who asked us to make a music video for one of their artists called Sorrow. Epidemic Sound has royalty-free music for your content and we have been using their music for so to say every YouTube video we have uploaded the past six years. And what I didn't know is that they're actually working quite closely with the artists they have on their platform. So if you are an artist making music, they have agreements like paying up front for your music, they share the royalties 50-50 and they also have a team of songwriters, producers and sound engineers to help artists to make high quality songs. And since Soro is one of their artists, they want to help her make a music video. And that's when they contacted us in the US. So this is the setup we're going to use for this video. It's the CN VBIL 3 gimbal with a Sony A1 and a 24 to 70 mm lens. The VBIL 3 is quite new to me and it has some interesting features. I'm looking forward to test it out for this music video shoot. Okay, let's shoot. Okay. We're out in the forest here in Norway. So Kim and I, we're gonna do some uh, location scouting now. Uh, we have two or three hours to do that. And then also we have the gimbal and the camera in this bag, which you get with the gimbal. So it's very practical. And that's everything we need. And why are you here, Kim? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we don't need you. <laughs> we're trying to look at some different types of uh, locations as well. Not only forest, but some cliffs, some uh, open spaces with trees. We're just walking around now looking for them and then figuring out exactly where to go. The reason why I love improvisation is that you avoid overthinking. When you overthink, you tend to save what you are doing and that might result in generic boring shots. I think you can create a lot of creative shots when using your intuition. <laughs> oh. But at the same time, of course, you need to know what you are doing. Oh! <laughs> well, we'll see. She has a plan for the dance. So, uh, hopefully it doesn't look like this, but... Yeah. Hi, hi! Hello! <laughs> <laughs> hi, I'm David. Yeah, we're shooting a music video today. Uh, improvised. Um, I haven't met you before, so it's gonna be interesting to see how we can work together. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, so my name is Christina. I'm a dancer. I was asked to do this um, project um, by my friend Uni, who works with uh, Views. Um, it's Views, right? Yes. Yep, Views. I love the name. <laughs> We're gonna do some dancing through the woods today, so I'm excited for that. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I really like when uh, they think about the filmmakers. I'm gonna attach this one now, the camera plate, and they have a little coin under here. It's said that this gimbal has 21 hours of battery time. We'll see. <laughs> and also, you have this lens. Helper. <laughs> And also you have this lens helper, which helps the lens. Sorry, I don't know the English word, sorry. I just added here. So today it's gonna be dreamy, gonna feel free, gonna feel like you are in, I don't know, maybe in a dream or something. So we're using a mist filter. This is one quarter of a mist. Then also we need ND. So we have a variable ND. So just turn this around to change the strength of the ND. The song we are making music video for is called Lost in the Woods and the idea behind this video was to make the dancer embrace the freedom of nature and show how easy we connect with our inner child when we are outside. Lost as I should. 
så gøy. Jeg tror det er fint når du snur hodet, så kanskje du skal gjøre det. Du ser litt ut. Vær så god. When you improvise, you, you dare to do stuff and uh, you also have more fun and, and that will reflect in your shots. <laughs> In worst case, if the shots didn't, didn't work, you can always choose another shot in, in editing. Yeah, that's fine. I'll try that. Sometimes I do some shots that I feel a little bit safe, and then if we have time, I also try to make a really creative and experimental shot, just so we have a bonus. And then you can always choose which shot you want to use in post. But of course, improvising every shot in a terrain like we are in now is not always easy. Whoa! Oi! <laughs> you okay? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, what could well. be nice is uh, like uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Kick, 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 kick or something, or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ja. Det er kult her. Hvor langt ut tør du å gjøre deg? Der, ja. Det er kult. Så gøy! Du kan føle freden. Ja, men det er kjempebra. Ok, vi filmer for to hours nå. Og The Gimbal har bare løst en linje. Det er veldig bra. Det er veldig bra. Especially with this setup, which is, which is it's not very heavy, but kind of heavy, with a big lens. And... If your camera is too front heavy or vice versa, you might get shaky shots. So sometimes when I zoomed in or zoomed back and forgot to calibrate the gimbal, I did get some shaky shots. A lot of the times you can stabilize this in post, but I do prefer having as smooth shots as possible on set, so remember to calibrate your gimbal every time you change lens or you zoom in or zoom out. But overall, this gimbal was perfect for the shoot as it's very small, so we could easily change angles, change directions, be everywhere with the camera, so that was perfect. Oh, you get so sweaty doing the gimbal shots, but it's a good exercise. Mm -hmm. And especially Christina is <laughs> jumping all over the place. Cheers. So far so good, or what? Yeah. Yeah. So good. Yeah. Just need to calm down my face a little. I'm uh, turning red. <laughs> yeah, we're going into the forest now, to the first location we found. There's some dancing there and then we go to the open landscape place and hopefully get some sunset kind of look for that scene. And also the end shot where you close your eyes. Mm. No matter how good your camera or gimbal is, the most important is that the talent is able to blossom in front of the camera, to really show her emotions in front of the camera because then we get hooked, we get kind of, uh, we feel for her in a way and that tells a story to us. So really use time on focusing on the talent, use time to give directions. Uh, and also this small setup 
also makes it easier for the talent to feel free because uh, one thing is that I don't need to use too much time on the technical stuff and try to like, oh, I need to adjust this and this and this. I can focus more on her. Uh, but also it's not so scary when you have a small setup. If you have a lot of lights, a lot of rigging, especially for people who haven't been a lot in front of the camera, it can be a bit scary. You might have experienced it. You are on set and you really feel that the talent and, and yourself filming. Uh, just suddenly have this a connection where you you kind of know what's going to happen without actually knowing, but you just feel inside you that I need to move this way, and the talent feel, feels I need to move this way, and suddenly you have this perfect combination of good cinematography and good performance, and it's like it just it's magical. I really love that. Oh, so happy with the last shots, using the sun through the branches and just playing around with close-ups. And this handle is nice. Now we're gonna walk for 15 minutes, so you can uh, relax, just carry it like this. That's nice. The last shots we were going to do was some slow motion dancing and an evening scene at the lake. It's a wrap! It is! Yay! Yes. Yes. Good job! <laughs> pound, pound it! Pound. We're done! We shot the music video in uh, five hours, I think. Of course, locations, the, the dancer, the sun, everything made it perfect in my eyes. And what I li really liked about this gimbal is that we still have, like, it's you only use 20% of the battery, only one line. It's nice with this wrist uh, thing here, so I can uh, use it for a long time. So it's a small gimbal, light weighted, battery time is very good, some neat features with the handle and the, the wrist rest thing. <laughs> and also nice with the lens support in front here. And so far the shots looks nice. Now we just need to go to the editing machine to see if it really looks good on the machine. But I think so, hopefully. <laughs> go out there, bring your camera out, bring some friends, shoot a lot. And uh, yeah, you learn. You learn by doing. So I recommend doing that. And here comes a preview of the final result. Check out the whole music video in the description and if you make content for YouTube or social media, you should definitely check out Epidemic Sound. There's like a 30 days free trial in the link. Okay, I'll see you again. Hadra!